Investment management is an important part of financial planning that helps you to achieve your future goals if you get desired returns from your investments. Before you start moving your money around it is critical to gain a broad understanding of the different types of investments you can make. As far as debt investment is concerned, we get a specific rate of return on investment before we invest i.e. fixed deposit. But if we talk about equity, commodity and real estate, we cannot predict a specific percentage of profit and at times there is chance of capital loss. Let's assume that Mr. Ajay Verma wants to start investing Rs 10000 per month to fulfill his future goals. He wants to get 12% to 15% return annually on his investment. He has done his research and checked with banks, post office, mutual fund companies and found that by investing in debt class, he can get 7% to 10% return that too before paying tax. Generally if you go to a financial advisor, he will do your risk analysis and give you guidelines on how to invest your money in an appropriate ratio between debt and equity. Do you think merely by investing in debt and equities on the basis of the suggested ratio is enough to get your desired return that help you achieve your future goals? Let's look into this a little deeper. Mr. Ajay Verma's example and assume that he invested in debt and equities at 40. 60 ratio 40% in debt fund and 60% in stocks. He invested 4,000 per month in debt mutual fund and 6,000 per month in two different stocks. At the end of the year, the return from the debt fund and shares are stock 1, 20% ours, 36,000 asterisk, 20% equal ours, 7,200. Stock 2, minus 5% ours. 36,000 asterisk, 5 percent equal ours, minus 1,800. Debt fund, 8 percent ours, 48,000 asterisk, 8 percent equal ours, 3,840. Therefore an average return would be around 8 percent, which is much lower than expected. Most investors make the common mistake of blindly investing their money in the stock market, and this is not a very calculated way of getting assured returns. A lay person may not be able to ascertain the risks involved in playing in the stock market, so it is vital that he seeks advice from a portfolio manager who can assess and guide a person's money into the right channels. This is a safer way of assuring higher returns. It is vital to have a portfolio manager who plays an important role. Because before investing in an asset one should analyze some factors on which its return depends on i.e. risk slash reward ratio and the time value of money. A portfolio manager allocates your money among various assets considering time, risk and return factors. He prepares investment strategies which vary from person to person and invests accordingly. After the investment, periodical review of the portfolio and rebalancing asset allocation is very important. Rebalancing your portfolio involves shifting your money from one asset class to another to return to the ratio determined earlier.